lesson of our Superbook story, The Tower of Babel and Pentecost. Mm -hmm. Jesus' followers gathered together to pray for God's promised gift. His gift is also promised to all of us today. Mm -hmm. So Amanda, do you remember last week what happened when Chris and Joy, um, they thought it would be very difficult to play soccer with one of uh, another boy? Why was that? They did. They, they struggled because he was from another country and spoke a different language. So they yeah. had a hard time communicating. They did. Mm -hmm. And then Superbook comes and takes them back to Babel, where God stops them from building a great tower for their own glory. Then they visit Jerusalem, where God sends the Holy Spirit to unite them together and empower believers for his glory. Mm -hmm. The children learn that language and customs may divide us, but God's power and love can overcome all obstacles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pentecost is an important feast and celebration that has been celebrated for thousands of years by Jewish people. Jerusalem was filled with people from different nations who came to celebrate Pentecost. The Holy Spirit came on the day of Pentecost like a mighty windstorm to all who were in the upstairs room. The Holy Spirit is represented as wind many times in the Bible. So we're going to show you today a little example of the Holy Spirit. Perfect. Okay, so I have two balls and two plates and Amanda's going to have one and I'm going to have one and we're going to use our plates to make the balls move and we're not going to touch the balls and let's see what happens. Okay, okay? ready? We're going to, let's have a race. Okay. okay. It's a race. Let's see who gets to the end first. Okay, we're coming ready? for you. Go. <laughs> reminder of um, the Holy Spirit and how even though we can't see it it's still moving so just like we were shaking our plates and we weren't touching the balls but they were still moving and that's like the Holy Spirit can move us even though we can't see it so we have one more example that we're going to show you another little fun thing are you up for it I'm up for it Let's all right <laughs> Oh, it was so much fun. Was it hard? It was so hard. They went everywhere. They went in all different directions. I did not know where they were going. I bet. I bet it was hard. And you probably couldn't even guess where they were going either. No clue at all. No. 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 So that was a fun game of trying to pursue something. Mm -hmm. But what is important to understand is that pursuing the Holy Spirit may take us in different directions, but mm -hmm. it is never, ever random. So there is always a purpose and specific reason of where God leads us. And it may not be on a straight path, but it is always on the path God wants us to be. Okay. So today our super truth is, I will pursue the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Let's say it together, Amanda. I, I will pursue, pursue the Holy Spirit. Spirit. So today our super verse says, when the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And that's from Acts 2, verse 1. Okay, so today we just want to remember that God's Spirit is represented in many different ways in the Bible. The Holy Spirit is invisible, yet he lives in all who believe in Jesus, their Savior. Mm -hmm. Such a good message. Yes, so don't forget to go online today and see what crafts and activities there are to do today. There's some other fun games and other crafts that you can do. And also, let's remember Obsa and Emanuela. Check out the Tithely website mm -hmm. and uh, give a little donation to them. Good. All right, let's close in prayer. Dear God, help us to continue to pursue you every day. Thank you for breathing life into us and giving us the power to live for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. If the word for all